Hey guys, Weapon Game Bad today, bringing you a video, and today we're covering Tactical Weapon Series Part 12, or I guess 13 if you include the MVG uh, weapons video that I did the other day. So we'll go ahead and run through this. This is mainly just some things I'm using more recently, especially playing a lot of Lockdown Quads for XP. You can see my rank 964, so I've gone from 730-ish, I believe, last week to 964 on the quest for that Milsim skin. So definitely a viable way to do it is Lockdown Quads. Just throw the decoy grenades. You guys can YouTube it. A lot of uh, videos out there to go through, but it's definitely working with Double Time XP. So these are weapons I'm using there and DMZ in a new night mode. So you have Von Dead, um, for lockdown, zombie, zombie royale, anything like that. Any of these night maps, I think a lot of these builds are viable for, or just regular multiplayer, or when we revert back to the daytime uh, maps. So let's go ahead, jump in. With. Also, I have a compilation of um, nighttime operations that I did between Justin and I from DMZ. Uh, go ahead and check that out on the channel. I'll link that down below if you guys want to see a pretty pretty cool like movie quality type engagements we had, especially the ending, I thought. I was pretty proud of that video. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested. First up, we're going to run the MCX Rattler. So this is actually a extremely viable build. This is, I think, is my number one build right now for the close quarter engagements, specifically with Lockdown on Von Dead um, or Vondel. It is a relatively close quarters chaos type experience so this the 300 blackout the MT mcxc or the mcx excuse me the m13c or the mcx rattler in real life firing that 300 blackout is just a tank so it puts people down quick i want to run the um knight's armor company suppressor or the silent fire x g6 it's going to give a sound suppression bullet velocity recoil smoothness and recoil control you can see the cons are ADS speed aim walking speed and aiming stability we're gonna run the base barrel here just because that gives you the best recoil control. You can see every larger type barrel we select, you're gonna get worse and worse recoil. So the base barrel, especially the MCX Rattler is more, you know, with 300 Blackout, it's a close quarters type weapon. So uh, with the subsonic rounds. So we're gonna go ahead and keep the base barrel for best recoil control. We're gonna run the seven milliwatt laser. So again, this is the, or the VLK S L Z R seven milliwatt. Aim down sight speed, aiming stability, sprint to fire speed. The con is it will be visible. A laser will be visible when you're ADSing. So again, especially on those light maps, um, you just got to obviously be careful where you're ADSing and when. If you're going to aim through a door, aim on the, the side of the door so your laser is not going through so the per person doesn't know you're ADSing. Got to run the SZ Lone Wolf Optic or the EATEC Holographic. Uh, this is going to give us just persistent sight picture, 1.5 times magnification. Cons, ADS speed, and movement speed. Gives us a really clean sight pitch. You guys will see when we get the fire range. Now, again, because the recoil for this can kind of be all over the place, we're going to run the Bruin Flash Grip. Um, this is going to decrease the recoil control, but sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed. Again, this is close quarter, so we want to be able to react and have a little bit more snappy um, aim. And surprisingly, without an underbarrel attachment, this is actually a pretty accurate build. Then we're going to run the 60 um, round magazine of the 300 Blackout on this as well, because... When you're engaging multiple opponents, specifically in in lockdown, uh, it's definitely needed. Now, Zombo Royale, DMZ, I'm not sure about Zombo Royale, but DMZ, you can definitely get away with a 30 round mag, but here, definitely want the 60 round just because of the amount of engagements. But again, this is the M13C or the MCX Rattler build I'm using here for, again, this is mainly a night map, so you can swat, switch out that optic for something else for um, maybe night vision capabilities, thermal, anything like that, but this is actually shockingly well. I can see very clearly on the night maps. So you can see nice, quick, snappy ADS. And again, pretty accurate. I mean, we, we got all those targets in, in 35 rounds. You can see it jumps a little bit, but you're still fairly accurate, which is shocking because this seems more accurate than some of the other builds I've used on this gun with grips and things like that. So especially the close quarters, like within this, within the, the 10 to the, the uh, I think that's a 25 meter distance here, is uh, just easy, easy shots. And then you stretch it out to, I think that's 50 or 75. That's obviously a bit of a stretch, but... Um, Still able to get shots in and down the opponent. So again, I've, I've had some really good games on Vondel with this, especially if you're mounting here. Obviously, that's when it helps a little bit for sure. 
And then I'm running these just for close quarters. But again, the MCX Rattler M13C build looking really clean. Let's go ahead and back out. Take a look at the next weapon is going to be the 458 SOCOM. So the 458 SOCOM, again, I was trying to mess around with things and see what I could do for close quarters. So this is one of them. However, let me just make an adjustment here because I did actually change this up for the build when I was actually doing the gameplay. So we're going to run the XRK uh, Kraken muzzle device. It's going to help with the vertical recoil control. The con is aimed outside speed and aim and stability. Because this thing kicks heavy, right? It's a big round. I wanted something there to reduce the recoil uh, because I'm going to be using it mainly in full auto. Lock one precision grip on this. We're going to be running the Extend Angel uh, 40 optic is going to give us the rangefinder on there. Again, it's essentially an EOTech uh, with a rangefinder built in. Uh, precision sight picture with the target range indicator. Con is ADS speed and aim walking distance. Your aim walking movement speed. Easy for me to say. You have a 1.5 times magnification on there as well. We're going to run the Socket ZX grip for recoil control, and then the 15 round magazine of the 458 SOCOM. The base you have 10. You definitely don't want a five, and the 15 is what you get there. So. Here's the 458 SOCOM. Again, this is just a really, I've had a lot of, it puts people down really, really quick. Specifically in full auto. I mean, in those close quarters, Chaos Fest, you don't really want to use it in uh, single fire. Let's go ahead and check it out here. And obviously you can use it in single fire for like longer range engagements, but up close on things like specifically lockdown or close quarters engagements, this thing still has a really fast TTK. So even DMZ. Obviously, we don't have the ammo for that. But again, I can full auto that out there. So those two pretty easy to get in full auto. Out here, we can switch to single fire and just tap fire it. And the good thing is, in full auto, I think you get a little bit of a damage decrease by tap firing in full auto, but still, it's still... Uh, you can have the ability to go full auto or tap fire if need be. However, obviously, I think there, that was pretty bad. And missed all those shots. <laughs> Just going right through the arms there. But again, this thing, a lot of fun to use. A lot of your engagements are going to be these 10 meter marks in between the 25. So a lot of fun. It's definitely rewarding to kill people and, and specifically live down. But I have used this very successfully in DMZ, and it is a lot of fun. So that's the 458 SOCON M4 build. Backing out, we're gonna run the Q Honey Badger. So again, uh, and again, you've seen the theme with the camo here. This one I recently unlocked with the M from the MCX M13B. Um, this is the Field Ops camo. I just think it looks super clean, so I'm just kind of running it on everything right now. <laughs> I'm kind of in a little obsession with it. But again, Q Honey Badger, gonna run the base barrel for the interview suppressed barrel, seven milliwatt uh, VLK ZLR laser. So again, that's gonna give you aim down sight speed, aim stability, speed to fire speed with the laser visible. So you just gotta be careful about that. Gonna run a Cilium Pro optic on this. This I just picked a random optic just to kind of have a clean sight picture on this thing. This one works really, really well on this build, specifically for uh, even like medium range engagements. It's, it's a clean sight picture and I can see while sustaining full auto. Gonna run the 45 round mag of the 300 blackout. We're gonna run hollow point rounds on this for no enemy skulls and crippling power. And then we're gonna run the uh, Magpul vertical foregrip or the Op X9 vertical foregrip for hip fire accuracy, um, aim walking speed, recoil steadiness, and hip recoil control. Go ahead and back it out. You guys can see the final build there for the Q Honey Badger. Go ahead and jump into the firing range with this bad boy. So again, Q Honey Badger is a ton of fun. And it's been very effective for me in lockdown quads. Those ranges are ranges you really... Do. You have better, better uh, range with the... MCX that we showed the Rattler at that long range than you do this I feel like but you have this faster rate of fire with this the honey badger so you're gonna get maybe a little bit faster TTK again it's a little bit more accurate at these closer range targets though which is nice so that's the Q honey badger again really nice build there go ahead and back out 
Another nice one here is the AK-104. So the AK-104, again, this is a good one for CQ type engagement. It's going to run the um, uh, Markiev R7 stock or that PT-1 Zeneco stock for crouch movement speed, sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed. The con is recoil control, but again, this is close quarters. Going to run the Angel 40. Going to run the 342 millimeter Sokken XL. This is that uh, Midwest Industries um, key mod handguard. So we're going to get the aim down sight speed, movement speed, hip recoil control. Cons are the damage at range, bullet velocity, hip fire accuracy, and recoil control. The Boar 490 muzzle brake on this for horizontal and vertical control. Going to give us best recoil control in class for this weapon. And then again, a mag pull vertical foregrip there, the Op X9. So again, you can see the AK-104 firing that 762 by 39 millimeter. Really clean looking weapon. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Again, I love this handguard on, on, these, on this weapon. I run it. You'll see it on the 105 too, but again, just super clean. Good for close quarters type engagements. Again, it has stopping power. Just recently caught a nerf, but again, especially in lockdown quads, things like that, like 25 meters is your your ranges. So this thing hits pretty hard at those ranges. A lot of fun to use, and of course that sweet reload image. So that's our AK-104. Go ahead and back out. Next up, we have we'll skip. I guess I can show this really quick. This is really, I mean, it's kind of, it's, it's fun to use. This is kind of the, the pretty much the same RM277 build I've shown several times, so I don't want to get too much into it. You guys can see the attachments here, running the Cronin Suppressor, FTAC Ripper, Oli V, Lone Wolf, and the 30 round mag. Just so you guys can see, I was playing around with this a little bit in lockdown. I mean, it's fun. This is just a weird weapon. I was talking about with this Justin uh, yesterday. Just like, it does, it does have a weird recoil pattern. Where, like, when you stop firing, it, like, pulls down. So it has just, like, a really weird vertical climb to it that's pretty hard to adjust, even in, like, tap fire. So it's it, it's still a really good build. Again, the rate of fire makes it pretty good for these type of modes. But it does just feel really wonky with the recoil in some instances. But that's the RM277 build. Didn't really plan on showing that, but I figured I might as well. Here's the AK-105. So the same build as the 104, um, minus the... I swapped out the handguard for the VLK Colossus Flash Hider. It's going to keep us muzzle flash concealment, recoil steadiness, and recoil stabilization. Other than that, it's all the same. And then we're running the 60-round uh, casket mag of the 545 by 39 millimeters. So it's going to be a faster firing, smaller caliber weapon compared to the 104. But again, this is a, a close range weapon. You can see the rate of fire on this obviously increased. And those ranges are a bit of a stretch with this weapon, obviously, even out there, the 75 meters with the build that we have here specifically. Definitely want to probably mount that at those ranges. You can see not the most accurate. But again, AK-105, really good for these. Anything within... Uh, I believe that long target is 75, so anything within, like, you have 10, 25, probably within 50 meters, and then that's the 75 round. I mean, it's not bad, but you're still going to get a little bit of horizontal uh, bounce, so you probably want some different attachments to compensate for that if you're going for long range. But again, this is more of a CQ Tactical 105 build. Really nice looking build. Go ahead and back out. And I wanted to show you guys one more build over my DMZ uh, category, so this is one... Um, that is definitely a lot of fun to use. I've been messing around with a little bit here in the night mode. Jump into DMZ, show you guys this uh, Fight Light MCR. So we'll go ahead and look at this. Or the 556 five, five, Icarus in game. So we're going to run the uh, Knight's Armor Company Suppressor, the Silent Fire XG9. We already looked at this one, so you can see. Going to give us good recoil control um, with some minor downsides. But again, the recoil control on that and the accuracy is pretty good. Compared to the mobility hits you get in the ergo hits on these bigger suppressors like the Wrapped Harbinger. So we'll keep that. We're going to run the 1 milliwatt uh, pec laser. And again, I've gone over this before. It's going to give us aiming stability. This is not visible to the enemies when you're ADSing. So there's no cons. But the cool thing is, and you can't see it either. However, if you run a thermal, specifically um, the hollow therm or even the flip sight hollow therm, the SC hollow therm. You get the 1.5 times sight picture and the thermal target identifier, and you'll be able to see that laser. So it's a little bit of a cheat, or at least an advantage, because you can see the IR laser 
for yourself when no one else can. So it definitely helps um, with sustained automatic fire. Um, that's the reason I like the other lasers because you can see them, but here you don't need to worry about the enemy seeing them. We're going to run the... Uh, the Megpo butt stock there, the Torrent Span 9, going to give us recoil control, cons are ADS speed, and crouch movement speed. And then we're going to run the uh, Lockwood Precision for hipfire accuracy, recoil steadiness, and aim walking steadiness with the con being the ADS speed. So this is the Fight Light MCR. 75 round belt on that thing. And again, you can see the theme with the camo. I'm obviously obsessed. Let's go ahead and check this thing out in the firing range. Really good build. If you want to make it even better, just run a uh, run a um, different uh, underbarrel on there to make it to kind of compensate for the horizontal bounce. But again, this is a, a clean looking build. Snappy. You can see you can see that laser. Now, you, if I turn it off, you can't, and the enemy will never see it. So this helps you. At least it helps me with sustained fire. Really clean. Very accurate. Compared to how this weapon used to be when Warzone launched, it was so inaccurate. I was like unable to get it was bouncing all over the place. I don't know. I'm sure it's obviously had some buffed buffs, but obviously this is a little bit of a different build. I think this is more of a close quarters machine gun. Um, not really built for long ranges. That was really bad recoil control. But again, again, you can see the horizontal bounce. So if you want a different different control on that, you definitely want a. Um, I'll show you. You just want a different underbarrel. So you can see, really, really nice looking build. Go ahead and back out again. If you want better recoil control, you're going to want to go with the FTAC Ripper or probably the Phase 3. will really help out with that horizontal uh, recoil. So let me know what you guys think down below. Tactical Weapons Part 12. Got some really good builds here to use with the Halloween update for the Night Modes. Von Dead, uh, Battle Royale Zombies, things like that. Let me know your thoughts down below. Again, memberships are live here on the channel if you guys are interested in that go ahead and check that out in the link down below we have i believe a total of 11 or 12 members at this point so we are nine members excuse me so we have man and nobody asan v7 pdx jake ram ramster k dog adam flores this justin fps cannon fodder and noodly boy so um, again, you will get some certain perks. You guys can check that out and uh, a little bit of a discount on the merchandise. So I'll have the first t-shirt coming out here, most likely pre-orders um, next week, hopefully, if all everything pans out. And uh, we'll go from there. So until next time, this is Buffering Gaming, out.